I know, I know, it's been a long time, but I have finally got myself together and been able to fix up this form and make it send out emails and save to a database, all that good stuff. We can put our name in here, but if we don't put everything in there, we get some validation back and you get some nice feedback as well. How I did it, coming right up. Okay, so as you saw in the intro there, uh, there's just some basic validation. It just lets you get in touch with me. And if you don't fill things out right, you're gonna get some error messages and have to go back there and put some stuff in. So there's my name, but if I wanna put a random string in here that doesn't work, I'm gonna get an error back. But let's go ahead and put a subject in there. Hi, how are you? And message la 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 la. See, I get an error back that says, please provide a valid email address. So let's just say, haha at haha.com. We'll get no errors and the email will be sent on out. Uh, that's all done with state. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. Okay, so this is in the contact page or the contact component. As you can see, we have quite a bit of code here. This up here with the custom styles is related to uh, the modal from React. This link, pay no attention to it, I haven't used it, and I think I'm gonna take it out, actually. But coming back to the modal, uh, these are custom styles for that pop-up that you've seen. And this is just a module that you can get on on the interwebs. Let's go ahead and pull it up. You can use MPA, NPM to get it, and uh, here you go. It's a little bit older uh, React in here, so you're gonna have to uh, know your stuff and go through the documentation, but it's not too bad. I've used it before and uh, it works out pretty neat. It is definitely a lot faster than if you were going to use that yourself or code it up yourself. And you see there's not too much in state, the name, the email, the subject, and there's some errors here. So let's go ahead and go through this and see what happens. Res data is modal open. Of course, it's for the modal. Um, we have a bunch of conditional logic here. So is the name field empty? then put an error there. And that goes all the way down with a bunch of conditionals here and puts errors. And if there are errors, then they get returned to the uh, the application. As you can see, let's see if we can find one here. Uh, here is the, uh, the, the error. <laughs> Each error goes in a P tag and then is displayed. Now, if there is an error, like a subject length error, then set the margin to zero. And so that's how we have the margin not going anywhere. So it, it looks like the form is totally staying the same, but there is some changes here that's conditional rendering with style, pretty nice stuff. Um, but there's, there's a lot going on here. So there's an Axios post that needs to be timed out for like 10 milliseconds to make sure everything else runs. And then uh, once it's done, set the modal is open uh, to true. So open up the modal, uh, set the state uh, with the the response data uh, as far as the response goes and then set the the uh, message in there with the response data and um, reset the state there is a ton of uh, conditional rendering in here you can see that there's some on change functions so that goes back here does on change and that lets us enter values into our fields um, it's kind of complex but I found a great YouTube video on that I just typed in React Forms, React Forms, and that's what got me through it. This video right here, how to code a form in React. Check it out. There are a bunch of great resources there. But um, you have to go a step further. When it gets to like the database, you don't want any malicious code or sending an email out. You don't want any of that malicious code. So you want to go back to the, uh, the server side, right? Long, long time ago, we set up this email and Mongoose and uh, MongoDB. That's all set up, but we need to verify that. And that's done with the Express Validator uh, module. And it's it's pretty easy too. I didn't want to go back and do all that custom uh, validation, uh, but you can do it here. Uh, you can, excuse me, you can look up all this information on how it works. Just a quick walk through here. Uh, there's these check methods and you can check if the name is a length of, you know, at least one and then trim it and then send with a message name is empty. If for whatever reason you get an error message, which you shouldn't get, but if someone's being malicious or something, they'll get this error. Like, Hey, this is empty. 
Now, that is a middleware that goes in the post. After that, you get your normal rec, res, or request response. You have these errors that says validation results request. Why do you do that? Because the API said to. That's all I know. I've just been trying to get this done. And then if you have errors, again, because the API said to. Res status 422 JSON errors. It returns a JSON object. You know, I am not the authority on React. So there's definitely better ways to do, do this, I'm sure. Uh, but this is the way that I found out. And I'm just sharing that information with you. If you have a better way to do it, let me know. So then we go ahead and set up our email. Uh, this is basically a, uh, a way to set up an object for uh, SendGrid. And then we also save this information uh, to MongoDB. And here's what we do with, there's an error and there's a document, thanks for reaching out. That's what we send back and that's what you see. And then here's our message fields. In the object, there's two from email address, the HTML, which will give you a, um, a header and then the body. And then you just send off the message. So I know that's probably confusing. Take a look at this, uh, go through the GitHub. I'm gonna go ahead and update that right after this video. Uh, it is very confusing, but um, let's go ahead and see if you actually get an email when you do this. So I'm just going to put in my name, or let's put in something really weird just so you know that it's it's actually working. Like Mr. He He, great name. At He 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 at He He at He <laughs> dot com. Subject: I'm so funny. And the message is, I am a big creep, but I'd like to give you money because I'm so funny. So we've set that off. They know that the message has been sent and thanks for reaching out, Mr. Hee Hee. But let's see, let's actually see if I got an email here. You can see the time down here is 7.17. And I'm not cutting away from this because I'm waiting to, to get this email live uh, to prove it to you guys that I actually got an email. All right. Well, there you go. I had to wait for a minute, but uh, I did get one at just now uh, from Mr. Hee Hee. So Hee Hee... Uh, from Mr. He, he here's the H1, I'm a big creep. I like to give you money because I'm so funny. So you do get an email from that. Uh, it is legit. For some reason it goes to my junk folder, probably because it looks like a big old creep wrote it. But uh, it definitely works. Um, when I was testing this out, I used Postman here to uh, go through all of my errors. I didn't want to hook it up to the front end and type out all those fields, so I just used Postman to see what was coming back. And here you can see that I left uh, one of those errors left. This is what would be returned to the front end. Uh, it's just a big old error body. So yeah, there could be a lot more work done on this, but we're finally wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Yeah, that's, that's how you see that. Uh, you can see that it works. You know, it goes through here. Uh, I'm going to clean up a few things. You know, there's a few things that I don't, I'm not completely satisfied with, but hey, it's up. And that's the biggest thing is getting it up. But it's not really up, right? It's running. But now we need to go to Heroku and uh, figure out how to post this. And I don't know how to do that yet, but hopefully we can get it done soon and not have another long stretch before the next video. If you like this content, let me know by leaving me a like, or if you haven't subscribed and you like this content, of course, subscribe. I got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I put out a video, but uh, there's a reason for that. So if you wanna go ahead and look through a diff some other videos, uh, I have new ones coming out explaining why I have been so late on that. And I think you'll look forward to it. And uh, if it hasn't come out yet, well, you can just hit the bell notification and you'll be notified every time I put out a video, including that video there. All right, that's it for today. I'll go ahead and work on this some more and get this up on Heroku, clean up some stuff, and I'll see you then.